Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. Today we're talking about the Neurodivergent Lived Experience Summit coming up January 6th through 8th, hosted by Megan Griffin from Neurodivergent Mag Magic. And I've got Megan joining me here today to tell us all about the summit, what it is, how it happened, how did this come about for her, who the speakers are, some of the topics and the juicy things that we're going to be learning how we're seeking to be as inclusive and create as much belonging and space for everyone's voice at this table, and also how you can access the summit and the amazing goodie bag. Stick around. Hi, I'm Carol Jean, founder and host of Mind Your Autistic Brain talk show and community. And you're about to experience the new way to thrive in life and relationships as a late identified autistic by unveiling who you are, how you communicate, finding your self-care plan from the inside out and being the authentic creator of your best life. Get ready because this is where we go against the mainstream, say no to outdated society norms. And we say yes to who we are in order to create a joy-filled, balanced and more neurodistinct world. Welcome to Mind Your Autistic Brain. Megan, welcome to the show. I'm so excited to be talking to you today about this incredible summit. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I love your enthusiasm for it. I'm so excited. It's been a total passion project and yeah, I'm super psyched. <laughs> I know it's been a passion project because no one embarks on running a summit by themselves without a passion driver behind it, my friend, because that's a lot of work. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of work. And the work that you have put into this and the heart, Megan, it comes through. It really does from the swipe files and all of the intimate gathering information that you put together just for us as speakers leading up to this. I mean, your heart shines through in this and your passion. And I just, I want to thank you. And I want to honor that because that's a lot of work. It is a, a almost like a thankless job in a lot of ways, but I just want to thank you for that right now. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it is a lot of work, but it's really like, it's work worth doing if that makes sense, which makes it more fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Work worth doing. Yes. That is, that is one of those important passion drivers, you know, Discovery is one of my core four passion drivers. And I love that the summit ticks that box. That's one of the things that I used to like, am I going to do this? Do I say yes, no, or maybe? And the minute you sent that invitation and that email to me, I went, yes, that ticks that it ticked all of my boxes. Okay. <laughs> it ticked all of my boxes. Megan, how did you come up with this amazing idea to host a summit? I mean, that's a, you, this is your first one. I mean, that's a big deal. I'm really excited for you, but how did that happen? <laughs> okay. So I actually really vividly remember the moment that I decided to do this. You know, sometimes ideas just creep up on you. This was not that this was like divine inspiration. Um, so I was driving and listening to a business podcast. Um, and the podcast, I don't even think was about summits, but I think it was about collaboration and community. And, um, it just sort of hit me like, oh, I need to gather up all of my favorite neurodivergent creators, put them in one spot so that everybody can listen to the amazing things they have to say. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just was, occurred to me. Like I, there are I so many so people. Yeah. Like I, I follow the best people on Instagram and TikTok and I learn so much from them every day. And it was like, I just need to collect these people into one place. And so that people can go beyond the for you page or the reels page and can really connect and ask questions. And yeah. Oh, I love that. And I love that. It wasn't just like the spark of an idea, but it was like the spark of doing like doing the thing, right. It's not like, Oh, wow. That's a great idea. I'll put it on my list. It was the, this is a great idea and I'm doing the thing. <laughs> Oh yeah. This was, I don't know if this is a good metaphor or not, but this was like the spark that starts the wildfire. Like it was, I, I had the idea and I had speakers signed up and ready to go later that day. Like I was so excited. 
Oh my gosh, absolutely. So Megan, tell us a little bit about the summit. What, what should we expect? I mean, what, should, what can we learn? Who's going to be there? What are the topics? Okay, yes. Um, so we have an amazing collection of neurodivergent creators and advocates who are going to be speaking on a wide variety of topics. So we have quite a few um, autistic creators present along with several ADHD creators and some autistic and ADHD creators. Um, but it's not just about autism and ADHD. We also have Avery the Quiet, who's going to be presenting on Quiet Borderline. Um, and then we've got Elena Chambers, who will be presenting on like disability in the modern world as a whole, uh, but through the lens of her experience with dyscalculia. Um, and yeah, we've got, we've got other things represented as well. So yeah. Oh my gosh. I I'm personally so excited. I'm already like looking at the schedule and planning out how I'm going to like get my snacks and get cozy and be in front of my computer to, to join in as many as I possibly can. Cause I really, there's like not one that I would want to miss. Like I looked at all exactly. of them like, okay, like how can I block them out? And I'm like, um, don't want to, <laughs> I want to do them all. <laughs> yeah. Hello, my ADHD, autistic, dopamine hitting brain, right? Like yeah. I want all that stuff. I don't want to miss anything. I don't want, I don't want to miss anything. And can you tell me a little bit about like, cause if you're like me and you want to do all this stuff, but you maybe know better. So you are being intentional with setting some healthy boundaries. So, you know, you're not going to get to catch all of them. If we miss something, how do we watch it? That's a great question. Yes. So do I recommend going to your favorite presentations live? Yes, because then you can ask the creators questions directly in the Facebook chat and everything. So I, if you can come live, pick three or four that you know you can't miss and try to really be there live because I think the live experience is going to be really incredible. Plus we're giving away prizes for people who come live. No big deal. Every presentation is coming with a book. Uh, so basically let's say you attend Carol Jean's talk on uh, neurospicy burnout. Um, so whoever provides the most like thoughtful engagement live during the presentation is going to win a copy of Carol Jean's book, How Spicy is Your Neurodivergent Burnout. So um, yeah, and each presentation has their own book that people can win. So I recommend coming live if you can, especially if that topic is important to you. Um, but I also understand that we have 19 presentations um, that are all a half hour each. That's what like nine and a half hours um, of content. You can't, you can't, um, or most people can't, I'm going to, but because I'm running it. So <laughs> um, anyways, so if we're going to talk thing, about some support staff for next year, <laughs> probably yes. <laughs> Um, so if that's the case for you, then each presentation will be available in the Facebook group for 24 hours. So you do have some time to catch up. And then if that is still just like not workable for you, um, I really recommend getting the goodie bag. So the goodie bag is, it includes all of the replays and transcripts. Um, and in addition to that, it involves, a, it includes a bunch of courses, eBooks and guides that, uh, some of our lovely speakers have donated. Oh my goodness. I am so stoked about the goodie bag. I mean, there were some things in there that I was just like, when you told me about the planning guide for applica applications for college admission, and I have a ADHD high school senior, I was like over the moon excited to have that resource. Oh my gosh. So what are some of the other things that people will find in the goodie bag, Megan? Some Let's peeks, see. just a little sneak peek. Of course, of course. Yes. So one of my favorite things that's in the goodie bag, uh, in addition to your submission, of course, uh, <laughs> um, if you want some help with uh, like your sensory profile in relation to burnout, that is what Carol Jean donated and everything. So, and it's worth like 57 bucks and the goodie bag is only $29 if you get it in the first 15 minutes after signing up. So it's very- Total important. steal. Yeah, for sure. But uh, in addition to your submission and my own submissions, I am really excited for the cycle breaker course, uh, donated by Carly Lynn. So if you deal with generational trauma, um, which trauma is an acquired form of neurodivergence, um, if you deal with generational trauma and you're really working on breaking those patterns, cycle breaker is for you. It's a comprehensive, amazing course on breaking the cycle. 
Oh my gosh, that is amazing. And you know, that's something I'm really, that's something I've been working through because I've, I've identified, you know, oh, it's not just, you know, PTSD. There's, there's, you know, the micro traumas and the lasagna over my lifetime that's built up. And it's like, I've done so much work. And now that I'm sort of in that place where I feel safe and I've undone a lot of that, you know, nervous system holding Mm -hmm. on to with that trauma, it's like from the intellectual level of like identifying those generational places that trauma came into my life. That's been a big part of it. And Ooh, digging into that would be so good. <laughs> uh, yeah. You need Carly's course. It's really going to help. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I I'm all on board for that. Like number one guys, you know, I will say this all the time. I am not perfect. I do not have it all figured out. I am a work in progress all the time. And anytime I'm working on something, I'm happy to share, Hey, this is something I'm struggling with. This is something that I'm working on for myself because by getting vulnerable and being courageous to share where I'm struggling in my life as well, hopefully that'll help you and let you know that, Hey, there's some resources and Megan has just shared a great one with us. So I'm all on board for that. Well, Megan, how much does the summit cost? Okay. So accessibility is really important to me, especially financial accessibility. So, uh, the summit is free. I love that so much. I love that so much. Yeah. So it's free. We can sign up. Mm -hmm. We got access to a goodie bag and I mean, huge, massive, massively helpful products for like banging price of $29. Mm -hmm. And that gives you access to the replays that gives you access to courses and books and all of these things that Megan has mentioned. Megan, where do folks go to sign up? Now, number one, I will have a link down in the show notes below. So don't fret. We'll have easy access there. But if somebody is just listening and they, they're like, I can't stop, but I really, if I hear it right now, then I'm going to do it as soon as I stop. Where can they go find that link? Megan? Okay. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to Instagram, pull up mind underscore your underscore autistic underscore brain and go to the link in the bio right there. Uh, Carol Jean's bio and yeah, sign up from there. Easy peasy. Perfect. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And you know what? You're going to get to join an incredible group of your neuro tribe, your neuro kin for three amazing days, the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th of January to come together, to share our lived experiences, to learn about other people's experiences that are different from our own. And, you know, that's a really big part of what Megan has done. And that's something that I'm just so incredibly so incredibly thankful for. And that is making sure that as many voices are heard from as many different perspectives as possible. Megan, can you share a little bit about that with us and and what people can, can experience, especially if it's different from their own? Absolutely. Okay. So basically there's like sort of a story behind this. I started the summit back in like September is when I started planning. Uh, summits are a lot of work, so it has required every second of that time frame <laughs> to get this done. Um, but I started it back in September and I reached out to somebody who I really admire, um, who is a person of color. And I was like, Hey, would you want to be a speaker? And they basically said, no, I can't speak at this event. You're not you're not making enough of an effort to really include people who are different from you, especially when it comes to whiteness. And, oh, that stung. That didn't feel great. But I am so grateful every day that they said something because they they didn't have to, right? It's not their job to inform me that I'm not doing simply been like, I'm going to ignore this white bitch, Uh, you know, like, and that would have been fine. That would have been so fine. Um, But they took the time to really be like, I'm not going to speak, but if you're still going to run this summit, here's what you need to do. You really need to be centering um, the experiences of others, not just centering experiences of people who look like you. So that is what I try to do. Um, I think there's still a lot more progress to be made. Maybe the next time I run a summit, but um, I am pretty proud of what we have done here. We have, um, I think nine speakers of color out of 19, which again is not exactly where I want the ratio to be, but it's, it's getting there. Um, and what's nice is that not every person of color, I I hope at least they don't feel obligated to speak about race specifically. Like 
some people chose to, cause everybody got to choose their own topic for the most part. I, there's a couple of like experts in different fields where I was like, please talk about this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but for the most part, people got to choose what they wanted to talk about. And some people chose like, Hey, I really want to talk about the, um, Ziel is going to talk about, um, being a black autistic woman and what that's like. And so that's amazing. But then we have um, like Alina Jean, who's talking about PDA, which is persistent drive for autonomy or pathological demand avoidance and the culture of autism on TikTok. Um, so we have just people presenting on things that relate to the intersection of their neurotype and their race. And then other times people are like, yeah, okay, I'm black and that's important. Obviously, I'm never going to discount that, but also like my presentation doesn't have to be about that. I love that that that's been the process. I mean, really, I think that's you know, as a white person, that's something that, you know, I've I've tried to raise my awareness in my own internal biases and all of the stuff, you know, that when you don't know, you just don't know then there's a place where you do know and you need to either choose or not choose. And I choose, right. And to have those people in our life, you know, that was something that I had a mentor. I reached out to and I was like, she's this incredible woman of color. And I'm just like, I'm trying. And I'm, I'm, I know that I'm missing a lot. I got my own blind spots. You know, can, can you give me some insight or, or some direction, you know, because I really, I want to do well. And I, I want to do well and it's important to me. And she was like, you gotta have, do you have anybody checking you? Like, do you have somebody like that's, a, that you're accountable to in that area? And I'm like a little bit, but not enough. And now that's the question that I ask myself, you know, and, and that's what I seek and make sure that I bring people into my life that, that are that person that, that you were so fortunate to have stand up and, and be an accountability partner with you on that. And, you know, that's just one of the things that I love about you. I love about the way that you step back and went like, ow, that really hurt. That was, that was hard to hear, but how do I, how do I do this better now that I know this? And I love that, that that's your heart. And I love all that you do. I love not just what you do in the world, but who you're being in the world. Megan, thank you so much for creating this incredible summit. Thank you so much for bringing all of us together. And to create a place where everyone can say, I've at least seen one person that may know I'm not alone today. There's somebody else yes. I can, I can relate to and have a conversation with, or at least hear them. And I feel like I've been heard too. That's so important in our, our journey. Yeah, absolutely. And Real quick, I do want to shout out some of the people who consulted with me on um, my diversity and inclusion efforts. Um, so I talked to Tyra over at Goddess BMS on Instagram, and I also consulted with um, or was advised by Angela over at Taco Cat Wellness on Instagram and TikTok. So I just want to make sure I shout them out because they made a huge difference for me um, and for this summit. And um, Angela actually was the one who really informed me like, hey, you can't call this a safe space because you're the one in charge. Like, of course it feels safe to you. It's up to the participants, whether they feel safe. You can call it like, I'm trying to make this a comfortable space, but like safe space is just, you know, ick. Um, so I was like, okay, okay, that I'm learning. Um, so <laughs> that was really helpful. And yeah, so I just wanted to shout them out real quick, but yeah, I, I really hope the summit is an opportunity for people to just feel really seen and heard and understood by some of their favorite neurodivergent creators. Oh, that is so exciting. I love that so much. You know, one of our moderators in our autistic community, his name is Enzio and he's just, oh, He's just like one of the most spectacular humans. I mean, he lights me up every Monday with his Monday musings and reflections. And he always has a great question for the community. And we had a community event and we were talking about the term safe spaces. And he brought up something that really hit me and I've loved it. And it's something that has been sort of part of my new vernacular in that. And he said, we don't need safe spaces. We need brave spaces brave spaces. And I thought, oh man, that's so good. Cause that's, that's the onus on everyone there. You know, not one person being responsible for creating safety for everyone, but everyone's showing up brave and courageous and standing in their, their truth and bravely being able to share. 
and, and have others bravely share in return. And I just, I loved how he put that. And it, that sort of transformed my safe space vernacular. <laughs> Maybe that just transforms somebody's today too. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me, Megan. Thank you so much for all of the work and everything that you've done to create this summit this year. Guys, be sure to go and get registered. Get your free access to three incredible days, January the 6th through the 8th of this coming January. So don't miss it. It's coming up in just a couple of weeks. So like get it on your calendar now, go register now. And if you are interested, make sure that you get that goodie bag because there's some incredible resources in there to take your experience at the summit beyond the summit. Thanks so much for joining us, Megan. And where can everybody find you on Instagram? Oh, awesome. Yes. Uh, my Instagram handle is at neurodivergent underscore magic. And you can follow me on TikTok. Ah, fantastic. I love that you're on TikTok. I have yet to like navigate TikTok in my brain. It's so fast, even though I'm a fast thinker, TikTok's fast for me. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm so in awe of the things that you do on TikTok because I see them posted every place else on social media. I just love it. So guys, make sure you go give Megan a follow at Neurodivergent Magic. Join us at the summit. Have a fantastic holiday season coming up and we will see you in January to kick off the new year. And what an amazing way to start your 2023. Then surrounded in community and, and discovery of yourself and new things about being neurodivergent. Thanks so much. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.